Tulsa rises tall from the hot, stark Oklahoma plains, almost like a mirage of El Dorado. And it was black gold oil that brought men here in swarms. Some of the people who came here were black as well, some in search of riches of the spirit. The Reverend Louis Tisdale, pastor of the Friendship Baptist Church, brought his family here from Fort Worth, Texas. And the youngest of his four sons, 20-year-old Wayman Tisdale, is bound for glory. My family is very close. The Lord is in our life, and uh, we've been making, uh, striving, and you know, trying to pull tight each time we uh, come home. I don't go to church because I have to go. I, I go to church because I like to go, and I grew up in it, and I believe in uh, the Lord. So uh, he's the Almighty, and I just look to him uh, for strength and everything. You know, when I was growing up, I always used to smile. I credit that to, you know, my closeness uh, at home and uh, closeness with just growing up in church. Reverend Tisdale is a shepherd to his flock. To young Wayman, he's a good deal more than that. Do you believe it? You know, my father is just great. He's my idol, you know. He's a great man, and I want to be like him. Most of the coaches I've been through, I love them and everything, and I give all 100% uh, for them. But, you know, as far as being an idol, uh, I look at I look to them like my boss, you know, but my father is an idol. <laughs> Wayman attends the University of Oklahoma, a hundred miles from Tulsa, partly because he can get home for weekends, mostly because he wanted to play basketball with his older brother, William. Him and I are pretty close. Uh, he's pretty wild, and we like to have a good time. He's a great player, too. Emotionally, uh, he keeps my uh, spirits high and uh, everything. If you see William, you know, if you don't see me, it's something wrong, you know. He's just like a leader. He's, he leads me. Wayman will stay at least another year at Oklahoma after being a proud Olympian. Playing for my country means a lot. If you can play for your country, and the people will love you. You know, that's what I want. I need love, and I like people like me, so I think any player should want to play for his country right now. If not, I think something's wrong. <laughs> Wayman Tisdale, who has just had a heck of a first half of the United States in this final for the gold medal in men's basketball. He's doing everything, and, you know, it's just a big enjoyment right now. I want to dispel one thing about the Russians. You people have never seen the Russians play. I've watched them play for two years, and we beat the Russians' ass anywhere they want to play. Uh, the Russians can't play defense. Uh, they just played in a tournament in, uh, in Italy with Italy, Yugoslavia, and Spain. Uh, they lose to Yugoslavia, uh, they beat Italy by 10, I think, and they beat Spain by 5. Now you tell me the Russians can play these guys and you're not as smart as I think you are and I don't think a whole lot of you are real smart to begin with. Defense, Bobby Knight's trademark, has been a big factor in the United States 8-0 gold medal mark. The average winning margin was by 32 points. Tenacious defense was responsible for Spain's miserable 37% from the field. I think that's just a team defense, you know, that really comes from the guards, putting the pressure on, you know, on their guard. And then, you know, with Michael and Chris and the other guys putting uh, great defensive pressure on the perimeter shooting. And then, you know, we have the inside of Pat Ewing and Wayne Tizzo. So it was a total defensive effort, uh, effort as far as, you know, contributing to the low production of the other team. James Naismith may have invented this game of basketball, but the United States team certainly refined it to a point of returning the U.S. to the gold medal platform once again. Their ninth gold medal trip in 10 Olympic outings. Craig Wyatt, ESPN, Los Angeles.